hi this is kirk simmons with the remax main line in the kirk simmons property group and this week we're going to talk about a very basic thing in real estate lock boxes but in the meantime if you're interested in buying or selling a home please hit the links above that that are marked out for you information to help you see the best properties and also information to give you a value estimation on your home now on to our topic This week we're going to talk about lock boxes. Now, a couple things about lock boxes are we're going to talk about what they are, why we use them, what types there are, and the benefits and possible drawbacks of using them versus not using them, or what your options are and how we get these set up to get those buyers in your home. So first off, we want to talk about the types of lock boxes. Now, if you don't know, lock boxes hold the key that we give to the realtor once we confirm that they're a licensed agent, we will give them access to one of these two things. These are both lock boxes. Um, ultimately, we get the lock box, we put the key right inside of here, and then we mount this on your door. They're kind of rubberized so they don't cause damage. Um, there are two types you can use, uh, the, the combo lock box and the electronic lock box. These are the fancy ones that work with the phones. Um, ultimately, these are the two types, and we always have a choice between the two. Um, the benefits of using the electronic is a lot of these are, are, you know, they're very durable. You can't break into them. You know, they, they're really secure. Um, so they keep the key safe. And again, it's always on your front door, so you know exactly where it is. Um, one of the downsides is if you're an owner and for some reason you need to get that key, you can't get one of these keys unless you have the specialized software on your smartphone or the specialized gizmo they give you if you don't want to put the software on your cell phone. Now the only way to get that software or that key to open this box is to be a member of Suburban West Realtors. So in order to get that, you have to be a member, which means you have to be a licensee or an affiliate member and you have to pay the fees. So that kind of leads into the downside. The downside is some of the agents don't choose to spend the money to get the key to open these. So that can really inhibit a showing uh, for an agent that's choosing not to go through these. Also, not all of the appraisers and the home inspectors that we need to get access to your house have the membership required to use these. So these are always preferred and we like to use them a lot, but sometimes you know it's not practical uh, especially in busy times where you know we want to make sure that we get the people access to your home so we can get you to closing quickly. The alternative is to use the old combo lock box. Now again these are pretty safe. They're, they're rubberized as well. Um, they have a very specific code that, that we set. Um, ultimately we can give you this code if for some reason you need to get the key. Um, also we can give these once we qualify the realtors, appraisers, inspectors through our specialized system so that they can gain access to the house, of course, with all of our permission. Now, the downside to these is if you're a mathematical genius, you can guess the code, uh, but it's, you know, it's 40,000 combinations. So it's pretty secure. Um, we like to use these a lot because it allows us a lot of flexibility. Now, Sometimes we get the question on why people don't want to use lockboxes. Um, ultimately, when you're dealing with us, we always give you the information and we give you a choice. When you don't use the lockbox, it, it does create some you know, challenges such as ease of getting showings for your home, which we'd never want to slow that down. And it does create the challenge of you either have to let your home open, be there, or have somebody else come. Now, with those three options, number one being leave the home open, uh, then you're going to have to leave your home open and maybe park down the block or something. Um, now, some people do that and it works, um, but again, it can be very inconvenient for the seller. Um, ultimately, the other thing is that it, when you use these, you know, you can just go through the system, people can get in right away. Ultimately, you shouldn't be at your showing, so when you don't use a lockbox, you know, sometimes you're gonna run into your buyers. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it kind of makes some people uncomfortable. 
Um, ultimately, we always recommend that you use a lockbox. We keep the information very tight, and we always know who's coming to your house ahead of time. So we recommend using lockboxes. However, if you choose not to, we can work with you as well. But I just wanted to kind of educate you on you know, some of the basic things, because sometimes we just get into all the minutia of real estate and we forget to come back and do something as basic as like why use a lockbox and what they are. So these are really secure resources to help you speed up showings, speed up closings, and ultimately get your home sold. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video uh, on lockboxes. And if you have any questions about the market, any questions on the process of getting your home listed, what that takes, what that entails, please just give me a call at 610-692-8410 or email me info at kirksimmon.com or simply reply to this email. Have a great day.